Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Bear channel. So, are you going to play the new job class Gunslinger? The Gunslinger can be grouped in the same category as the Hunter. They both deal long range physical damage and uses Dex as their main attribute for physical attack. Gunslinger have two sets of weapons that I can use the auto rifle and revolver set, and the sniper rifle and the shotgun weapon set. Both sets have their own unique play style and have their own skill set that I can use that is specific to their weapon. I had talked about the different weapons that the Gunslinger can use and each of their unique function previously. If you want to know more on the Gunslinger weapon, I link the video at the video description below. Now although the Gunslinger main attribute is the deck stat, but a lot of their skill damage is scaled with the luck stat. So this confuses a lot of players. Which stat should the gunslinger player go for? Should you go for deck stat or should you go for the luck stat instead to have the optimal damage? Now I found a video by Mr. L explaining about this. He explained it very well. The video is in Thai. English speaker or international player may not be able to fully get the information in the video. I'll use some of that information in this video. If you want to watch that video, I'll also link it at the video description. Alright, let's start with how many physical attack you get with dex and luck attribute. One point of dex will give you 4 points of physical attack, while one point of luck will give you 0.5 point of physical attack. With the Odin's bonus, for every 100 points of attribute, you will gain an extra 5% stat. For dex, you will gain an extra 0.2 physical attack for every 100 points of dex attribute. For luck, you will gain an extra 0.025 physical attack for every 100 points of luck attribute. Now over time, as you have more stats, you will get more physical attack. At 1000 points of dex, you will start to get 6 points of physical attack per dex. At 2000 points of dex, you will get 8 points of physical attack per dex. At 3000 points of dex, you will get 10 points of physical attack per dex. As for the luck, at 1000 points of luck, you will start to get 0.75 point of physical attack. At 2000 points of luck, you will get 1 point of physical attack per luck. At 3000 points of luck, you will get 1.25 point of physical attack per luck. Obviously, going for all decks will be beneficial to the gunslinger because you will get more physical attack from the attribute stat alone. Now let's include the skill computation. Referring to the gunslinger skill, the light weapon mastery skill increases physical attack by 80 plus 4 times of luck when equipping with the revolver weapon. The heavy weapon mastery skill increases physical attack by 80 plus 4 times of luck when equipping with the shotgun weapon. So either one of the offhand weapon when it is equipped, you will get increased physical attack that scale with luck. Another skill, the banishing buster skill. While in the magical bullet skill effect, at skill level 10, you will gain 20% ghost element bonus and physical attack is increased by another 4 times of luck. So let's factor both of these skills to the previous calculation. From both of the skills, the physical attack is increased by another 8 points for every 1 point of luck. So refer back to the luck stat, at each 1000 luck points, the physical attack will be increased by another 8 points. So now the luck stat give more physical attack to the gunslinger. So what does this mean? If you scale the gunslinger combat power solely by the physical attack total value, the luck stat will give you more physical attack, up to 3000 points. From 3000 points attributes onwards, see that the deck stat will then start to give more points to physical attack than the luck. So in the early stage, when you don't have 3000 points of attribute, you can get luck for more physical attack. At later game, when you have better equipment and can reach 3000 points of stat attribute, dex will give you more physical attack. Well, is that the only factor that determines the right stat for Gunslinger? Not quite. Notice that the Banishing Buster is a passive skill, and the skill effect only activate when the Magical Bullet skill is active. The Magical Bullet skill converts your weapon attribute to the Ghost element. So if you are going for the Luck stat Gunslinger, it is safe to say that the Luck Gunslinger is 
the force ghost element bill. Another thing to take note, increasing 1 luck attribute will give you another 2 crit and anti-crit points. At 2000 luck, you will have 8000 points of crit, which is about 127% crit chance. At 3000 luck, you will have 15000 points of crit, which is about 197% crit chance. For dex, increasing 1 point of dex attribute will give you another 2 points of haste and hit point. At 2000 dex, you will get around 34 seconds variable cooldown, which is enough cooldown for almost all of the gunslinger skills, as most of them have 30 second skill variable cooldown and about 127% hit rate. At 3000 dex, you will get around 47 seconds variable cooldown, more than enough cooldown needed, as the highest skill variable cooldown that the gunslinger has is 40 seconds and about 127 hit rate. Now what can we say about this? If you decide to go for the luck build, you will have hit issue, but it is not really a problem against MVP. With the Crimson Marker skill, you can lower down the target final flea by 30% for 32 seconds. You might see in other gunslinger videos, while the gunslinger is a luck build, but they have no problem hitting the MVP or when doing DPS tasks on the MVP. They're still able to land hits, that is because of this skill. While you may have enough hit to land attack on players in PvP, but it is still not enough if you are against the AG job class like Dancer and Monk. For normal master grinding, while it is not too a big deal when you miss landing few hits on the monster, it can certainly be annoying as well. You can get more hit start from guild blessing or enchant to increase your hit rate. For dex build, you will already have high haste and hit rate, but low in crit chance to deal crit damage. Since all of the gunslinger skill can crit, you can actually go either crit build or penetration build. For crit build, you can use crit talisman to increase the crit rate. You can also use cards and pad to get more crit rate and crit damage. Furthermore, the gunslinger shadow equipment also provide crit rate and crit damage bonus stat. So this makes it possible for you to play the dex gunslinger as crit build. Or you can go for the usual has type penetration build. Just that the gunslinger shadow equipment does not provide the penetration stat. Final last point, if you decide to go for the luck gunslinger, it is intended to be played as the normal auto attack crit type build. Your DPS is pushed further with the chain action skill. Normal attack has a chance to deal extra hit that is half of your damage. The damage is scaled with luck. If you decide to go for the dex gunslinger, if you don't have 3000 points of dex to compensate the slightly lower physical attack than the luck build, you should make it up with using skill to deal damage. You should take advantage of your high haste to use higher level skill. Higher level skill will have higher damage multiplier that deal high burst damage. Alright, what type of gunslinger you will be using? The dex gunslinger or the luck gunslinger? Let me know in the comment below and also tell me why you choose that specific type. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.